Hello friends, welcome to VLSI Academy. Today in this Python lecture series, we will learn about if-else statement. So we will start with a basic program where we find if the number is even or odd. So we'll using uh, we'll be using if else statement to find if the number is even and odd then we'll go for nested loops let's say we take a variable z and we give number 4 to it so to write a program let's say if z is when divided by 2 gives out remainder 0 then we print that z is even this is the syntax of the if statement it always ends with a colon and when you give a colon and shift to the next line it always get indented by default else we print here z is odd and let's say we run this program as it said is 4 it is printing z is even now let's say we change it to 5 then it's printing that z is odd let's say we give an input 0 so 0 is neither even nor odd so we have to give another condition in which we will consider that z is 0 and then we print for it that z is neither odd nor even in if else statement one is if, one is else condition, others are always elif conditions. So if we run this code, now this is giving z is neither odd nor even when z is 0. L what if instead of an integer, I input some string in this uh, variable? Let's say we enter tree. It will throw an error. So our code is not foolproof we should have first checked that we, what we are checking for is an integer so let's say here we declare a variable y in which we store the type of the data variable data which is z here now we'll only run this code if the type of z is integer that is y is int so we write a statement that if y is equals to is equals to int then only this code should be executed so we'll put this code under the if condition else if the statement is not valid that y is not an integer then we print that the input is not an integer yeah so we ran this command so z we have written as tree so this gives that the input is not an integer now if we change it to let's say 3 and run it it gives odd let's say we change it to 6 and run it it gives even let's say if we do 0 and run it it gives that is neither odd nor even so here what we have learned is if else statements their syntax and nested if else that's all for today. We'll learn further concepts in next videos. Please do like, share, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.